demand supply and trade as a means of their fulfillment. Before we understand the terms demand and supply, it is necessary to understand the term market. Market is any place where people come together to buy and sell goods or services. Thus, market has two sides. Buying side, which is the demand side, and selling side, which is the supply side. Let us understand these two sides of a market with real-life scenarios. There have been a number of questions which are baffling in today's generation. For example, why do teachers earn $30,000 per year while some professional athletes earn $18 million per year? Isn't education more important than sports? Why is the price of an ounce of diamonds far higher than the price of an ounce of water? People need water to survive, whereas diamonds are luxuries. These types of paradoxes are found in plenty. Answers to such situations lie in the forces of supply and demand. But then, what exactly do the terms demand and supply mean? To begin with, let us understand the term demand. Man is a bundle of wants and desires. He demands or needs certain commodities or services to satisfy his wants and desires. In general sense, it may be identified as demand. But in economics, only desire does not constitute demand. A desire must be backed by the ability to pay for the commodity or service that can satisfy one's desire. Along with this ability, the person should also have willingness to buy that commodity or service. Thus, in economics, the term demand exists only when these three factors come together. In short, demand refers to a desire backed by the ability to pay and willingness to buy that commodity or service. It has been a common observance that consumers demand more of a commodity when its price is lower and less of a commodity when its price is higher. This means whenever and wherever possible, consumers are trying to spend less for any product available for sale in the market in order to accumulate savings. This is what we term as economizing in day-to-day -day nomenclature. Let us now understand the term supply in detail. The term supply has varied meanings. For example, it indicates provision of funds in case of government expenditure, food, equipments, arms and ammunitions delivered to soldiers to fulfill their mission also refers to supply. Supply also refers to a small unincorporated community in Brunswick County, North Carolina, USA. In economics, supply is the quantum of a product which is available to customers. Supply refers to the quantity of a commodity made available for sale in market at a given price, time and place. Here, selling is the main aim for supplying that commodity or service. It is a tendency of producers and manufacturers that an increase in price results in an increase in quantity supplied and vice versa. This means that producers are willing to offer 
more products for sale in the market at higher prices by increasing production as a way of increasing profits. Now let us understand the role played by trade as a means of fulfillment of demand and supply in the market. Trade in simple terms means buying and selling commodities and services. It is useful for exchanging commodities, supplying raw materials and delivering final goods to consumers. Trade plays a very important role in economic development of a nation. It is one of the most important channels of generating job opportunities in the market. Demand and supply are complementary to each other. There would be no demand in absence of supply and there would be no supply if the goods are not demanded. Hence it can be concluded that the trade is an aggregate of demand and supply. To summarize, Demand refers to a desire backed by the ability to pay and willingness to buy that commodity or service. Consumers demand a commodity more at a lower price and less at a higher price. Supply refers to the quantity of a commodity made available for sale in market at a given price, time and place. Producers and manufacturers supply a commodity more at higher price and less at lower price. Trade means buying and selling commodities and services. It is an aggregate of demand and supply.